Hello everyone, welcome to Talented Developer. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to display alphabets from A to Z using loop. So in this video, we are also going to see the lower case A to Z. So firstly, we have to understand like, okay, how we are going to achieve. So we have to start from A, then it has to go B, then C, then D. And finally, it will end on the Z, right? So that means we can say we have to start from A and we have to go till Z, right? So it is in increment order, right? So A to B, then C. So we have to use a for loop, okay? In the for loop, we have to start from the A and it will go till Z. You can use CH to represent any character. Character means only one character, okay? So if it will be like uh, Ram, R, A, M, correct? So it is a string, it is not containing one character, but if it will be like only A or C or J, that means it is a character. So in Java, A means ASCII value 65. So if you don't know what is ASCII value, please watch this video. And J means 90, right? So we can say like we have to go from 65 to 90. So similarly for a small A, the ASCII value will be 97. For the small z, the ASCII value will be 1, 2, 2. Okay. So let's start the program. So as I said, right, we have to use character. So what I can do, we have to use C-H-A-R and you can give any name, the like input. So I am going to start with C. So it will easily match character C and we have to use a for loop so here we have to start from capital A and it will go till where less than equal to caps Z okay capital Z and it will be in increment order okay so it will be pre increment so if you see here it is showing red color so why it is showing red color because you cannot use here comma correct please remember if you are going for for loop the first position will be here it will be starting point okay it will be ending point and here it will be like either it is going increment or decrement so for our case it is increment order but if you see here i have used comma correct so you cannot use here comma here you have to use semicolon okay so this is the for loop structure now what we have to do now use system dot out print if you use sys out then by default it will print ln so you have to remove ln now what we have to do just print your character and after that try to give some space okay now run this program so if you see here right it is printing a b c till z right so this is a way to achieve capital a to z now how we can achieve lowercase a to z similarly just copy paste and here no need to start from capital a just use a small a then Z. Now I'm going to separate this line. You can give any variable. Now run this program. So now you can see right here it is a smaller A to Z and here capital A to Z. Now you can see this line is coming in the same line because for this one we have used system dot out dot print so if you want to separate then what you have to do just use sys out save it run it correct so this is a way to display alphabets a to z